Yo, what's good, YouTube man? It's your boy DMV Spinner 720, aka Wave the Ellis Rider. We in week four, the beginning of week four from Scout, from a zero against the grain. Scout, hair gone, waves gone. We on the comeback. Left 20, 720s. Now we brushing in 360s. My hair is slowly approaching curlingly. Um, I'll say in the next three, maybe two and a half to three weeks, I'll start to see some ripples in my hair. Um, I'm still on the bulletin. Do grow. I died in the mornings. Uh, baby, don't be bored. If y'all remember my last video, I showed y'all the products that we were using. I'm still on that diet and uh, still using my soft brush. There's no reason for me at this point in my hair length to use any hard brush or medium brush um, because I'm not trying to brush my scalp. I'm trying to brush my hair. And at this length, the best thing I can use for my hair is going to be the soft brush. Um, so if you're at the stage that I'm at with your waves, you should not be hard brushing your hair. I don't care how coarse your hair is. At this length, you need to be going in with the soft brush. Um, training your hair, manipulating your hair to go the way that you're trying to uh, have your waves come in. Um, earlier, I talked about wave length. Um, curl length. What is curl length? Curl length is um, the length of your hair where it begins to curl. Um, waves are laid down curl so you won't get any waves no matter how much you brush until your hair reaches the length um, that it will curl up. Now once your hair is at that length and the curls start to form that's where the brushing takes place. That's where the wave is because you're laying that curl down and that curl is laid down and instead of curling up it forms the wave. That's what the wave is. I lay down curl. So, all right. So let's uh, move on. Brushing. I had a question last week of how long do I brush at this stage? Um, the answer to that is I probably put about four hours a day in, easy at this stage that I'm brushing. Why? Um, because it's needed uh, to train my hair to get muscle memory down. Um, so when I'm out and about, I can brush without. Uh, the use of a hand mirror or you know feeling uncomfortable brushing without a, um, without a bathroom around uh, so you want to put that work in once you push that work in you know it becomes muscle memory um, you know four hours sounds long but you know I maximize my time I maximize my time at work on the way to work probably 45 minutes to and from work so if you put that together if you brush while you drive, um, for me, that's an hour and a half of brushing. Straight while I'm driving, listening to music, cooling out, no distractions or nothing. That's an hour and a half. Um, I'm telling y'all, if y'all are brushing your hair, then progress will come. Where you want to be at in the wave game will happen. But you got to brush your hair. You got to put that work in. You got to put that time in. Um, I don't care what kind of products you're using. I don't care how much you spend on your brushes. Those are just tools. Products are tools. Brushing, uh, brushes are tools. You understand? They help. Um, they're needed tools to get waves. But the act of getting waves, how you get waves, is the act of brushing. Um, how much you brush, um, how precise you brush, um, the amount of time you spend brushing um, will dictate the kind of waves you'll have in your head. Um, if you spend time in, you spend time on your angles, you spend time brushing quality time on your hair, you're going to have decent waves. If you just brush your hair any kind of way, you know, you don't, you're, not, you're not precise in what you're doing, you know, you're not careful in what you're doing, you know, you're not taking it slow, you're not coming from your crown, you know. To your hairline, you know, you're gonna get waves all over the place. This is the pace you want right here. It doesn't have to be a, a sprint. 
you know, start, follow through, right back to the same spot, you know, spend time with your head, man, you know, you don't want to just get in and get out to say you did it, that's about the pace right there, Brush with me. And this length, your waves still aren't developed. My waves are not developed. I don't have any waves because I'm not at curling length. So all I have is hair strands that I have to lay down in the direction I want my waves to grow. So I want to be precise in how I'm laying them down now. So when the curling comes, the waves will form the way I want them to. All right. So if you're at this stage, soft brush, make sure you're using your products, your, uh, you know, whatever you're using to manage your hair. You know, at this point, I don't use a lot. I got the Dubro, I got the Bolton, and I use my oil, and I throw in the, um, the Hollywood Beauty Olive Oil Cream, you know, probably every other night before I rag up. Shower brushing um, every day. You know, maximize your time. Like I said, you know, when you're in the shower, perfect time to get five or ten minutes in in, 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 in brushing. Under the shower head, make it easy to manipulate your pattern. Easy to get them waves the way you want them. So right now, it's just about fit, building the foundation. And that's where we're at. Beginning of week four. We're building the foundation. We're spending time. We're brushing. We're doing everything we got to do. To lay the foundation so when the waves finally start to come in, we're not, you know, wasting time trying to get them connected, um, you know, because we brushed all over the place. You know, start at your crown, all the way through your headline, man. And if you do it enough, it becomes memory. Next week, we're going to use a... Uh, I'm going to start using the glove next week. Um, as I approach curling it, I want to start to lay my head down even more. Um, a lot of people use the plastic glove. I mean, uh, the plastic bag method. I use a latex glove. It's, it's easier for me. It fits over my head. Get the same effect as the bag. You know, but it lays it down stupid. We're going to need that going into the next couple of weeks when the curling in comes. We can lay the hair down, going to compress it, we're going to start to work on depth. Um, you know, I'll probably, probably go eight, ten weeks before I cut. Um, eight to ten weeks easy before I cut um, any anything off, any trim, anything like that. Um, after the cut, we'll start to perfect our connection. So one thing to remember is that this is not, yo, this is not a, it's not a race, man. It's not a sprint. You know what I mean? It's a marathon. And you got to pace yourself. You got to be patient. You have to set goals and expectations and meet those goals and know where you're at. Um, it's not going to happen overnight. You know, you're not going to be a Young Wavy overnight. Shout out to Young Wavy. You're not going to be a Joshua Anderson overnight. Uh, shout out to Josh Anderson. You know some of the top waivers in the world. Uh, you know they they tell you they put in work. They put in them brush hours. You know, and um, that's what you're going to have to do. That's what I have to do. Um, the progress that I gained in my 720 waves was strictly because I put in work. I wasn't afraid to put it, pick up that brush, and I didn't slack in what I was doing. So. I'm going to tell y'all the same thing. You know what I'm saying? If y'all y'all see these waivers out here, y'all see them doing it big, man. Y'all see these cats out here spinning hard. You know what I mean? It ain't happened overnight, man. Them cats picked up the brush. You know, them cats, they put in work. Same thing, man, you got to do. You got to put in that work. All right, so listen, if y'all on YouTube and y'all not on Facebook, I want to encourage y'all to get a Facebook account. First thing y'all want to do when y'all get that Facebook account is look up World Class Waivers. WCW. 
the livest wave site on Facebook, hands down. You're welcome to come in. You know what I mean? Like I said, we got some of the best waivers in the world on there. We give out tips, methods. You know what I mean? It's a friendly atmosphere where you can get in, feel at home, and just wave. You know what I'm saying? Have fun waving, man. That's what we're about. All right, so eight months to show in this video, man. Like I said, still look, still waiting. <laughs> Still waiting, but like I said, I want to update y'all every week, man, just to show y'all my progress because it doesn't make much sense for me to go from 720 to 360 and not let y'all know how I'm doing it. Um, disappear out the blue with waves, you know what I'm saying, and not help the young cats. So I know the videos ain't gonna be too exciting because I don't have any waves to show right now. But next couple weeks, you'll be able to look back over when I first started. Four or five weeks from now, you'll see some waves in the head, but it'll also be recorded how it was before I had waves. The things I had to do before I got waves. All right, so that's why we're posting videos now. That's why I'm posting videos now, so y'all can see the be the beginning stages. Notice, I ain't got no waves in my head. It won't be like that long, but once I get them in, I'm not going back to this. So y'all soak up this knowledge that I'm giving y'all at this healing and how to train your head because it's going to be valuable if you ever scout you know if you're just starting off you're going to need to know how to brush your hair what to brush your hair with and what to do in order to train your hair all right man so appreciate y'all for watching this video i'll be at y'all next week with something new um hopefully we got a little bit more progress you know what I mean? I can't ask for much more. My head's laying down. It's doing everything I ask it to do right now. It's just a patience thing, man. Waiting for it to get that lift. But once you hit that lift, boy. Once you get the curling lift, man. That's when it gets exciting because you see progress every day. You know what I'm saying? That's when I go overtime. That's when I go overtime with the brush. When I get to the point where... I see the little ripples come in, man, I'm brushing like a maniac, you know what I'm saying? I'm training right now to get there, but once them ripples come in, man, I go I go crazy, you know what I'm saying? I go, <laughs> I go crazy, man, but like I said, man, I appreciate y'all for watching the video. You know, shout out to all y'all waivers on WCW, man, I see y'all, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the teams that are representing on WCW, man, I see y'all out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not going to shout out just One Wave Nation, which is my squad. I want to shout out Supreme. I want to shout out uh, Tsunami. You know what I mean? Um, that's came through and shown love on the page, man. That's made the page what it is. You know, if you got another team, you know what I mean? If you want a team on WCW, let me know. I shout you out too, man. It's all love. I'm going to shout out the people that I see so far, the teams that I see represented. All right? Of course, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in the nation, man, you know what it is, man. Shout out, salute to y'all boys for, man, doing your thing, man. Um, listen, let's keep the movement going, bro. You know what I'm saying? Sis, let's keep the movement going. Moving in a positive direction, man. Um, like I said, if you're not on Facebook, get on Facebook. The group is World Class Waivers, man. That's where we at. I'll holler at y'all next week.